Welcome back, folks, for a new episode of Leet. And today we're going to cover the Batignol Chatillon Chate Vanfakti. Or, I'm butchering the French language yet again. So, how do you say it? Batignol Chatillon Bleu de Vanfakti. How do you speak that fast? Batignol Chatillon Bleu de Vanfakti. So, it's like the Merovingian character in The Matrix. I love cursing in French. It's like wiping your ass with silk. I love it. <laughs> All right, we're getting off topic, but today we're going to cover the Bat Chat 25T AP. This is going to be a special tier 9 French medium tank. So it's likely going to be a personal mission reward for the second season or a clan wars reward. So something like a T55A or IS5. But it's never going to be for sale in the gift shop because that would be breaking the game since you have people grinding to tier 9s and tier 10s. And you can just buy a tier 9. So that's basically pay to win or pay to play, whatever. So yeah, it's not fair. So no ever or never <laughs> will there be a tier 9 or tier 10 premium tank. So this is going to be a special tank. All right. So the history behind the bat chat is the bat chat was designed based on mobility and firepower with the introduction of shape charge shells, heat shells and solid steel armor, homogeneous steel armor, were becoming ineffective against, you know, high penetration shots. And basically, no matter how much armor you have, the high explosive anti-tank shell was too good at piercing through your armor. And if you have too many or too thick armor plates, the tank becomes too heavy. So basically, this tank was designed based on mobility and firepower, and armor is a second thought. So they develop two prototypes of the Batchat. So it's going to be twice as heavy as the AMX-13, has the same oscillating turret designs with an autoloading 90mm, has six road wheels and small dimensions with an 80mm frontal armor plate. So it's a medium tank, a fast medium. Now two prototypes were produced, underwent trials, but never went into mass production because it had unreliable and maintenance intensive hydraulic suspension. So the tracks were not that reliable and fading interest in the oscillating turret design. So it has no protection against nuclear, biological or chemical environments. So, and that was pretty important for the Cold War era. So the designs of this vehicle was scrapped in favor of the AMX-30. So that's the competition between these two tanks. But there's only one surviving prototype of the Bat Chat 25T and a currently or currently surviving example of the Bat Chat is in Chalmere Tank Museum in France. So only one vehicle of the Bat Chat. Now this tank introducing at tier 9 is not really a Bat Chat 25T. It's more like a Bat Chat 25T prototype. And the technical actual name of this vehicle should be the FAMH Char Day 25T. So it was designed by a different company, not Bat Chat. So, yeah. So, as you can read, it was designed by. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna read that. So, yeah, designed by a different company and had the same goals in mind. So a 25 ton tank basically focused on mobility and firepower rather than armor. So the project was stopped in the pre-stages and all the advancements were imported onto the Bat Chat 25T. So this is actually a prototype to the Bat Chat, if you will. Now this tank has four pairs of road wheels instead of six. No road, uh, return rollers or roller back wheels right here. So it's a smaller chassis, has an oscillating turret with a 90mm autoloader. So the design was shifted into the Bat Chat. I cannot find actual historical pictures or blueprints of this tank, but trust me, exist, I guess. But as you can see, this tank is basically a larger AMX 1390 or so. So it's not really a Bat Chat. Not really. Alright, here are the HD renders of this tank. So the turret shape was 
the Bat Chat's original turret shape, but this tank has less armor on the turret, and the chassis is a little bit different. So this chassis looks like it was based off, you know, some of the Russian designs or some German designs because it looks like the Romto Borsig's, you know, track layout with large road wheels rather than medium-sized road wheels with return rollers to support it. So, yeah, it's kind of weird and interesting chassis design, but this tank has no space armor on the sides like the original batch at, at tier 10. So the turret looks like a little bit bigger than the chassis and kind of unwieldy so out of proportion but here are the pre-release model of this tank the pre-texture models and here are the in-game screenshots of this tank so it's basically a large AMX 1390 at tier 9 uh, it's rough <laughs> so I was expecting a hundred millimeter on this tank, but they gave it slightly better penetration for a 90 millimeter. Doesn't have the same penetration as the Scorpion, though. Oh well. And here are the collision models of this vehicle. As you can see, the only thickest part of the armor is inside the turret ring right here. So that's 70 millimeters right here. Whereas the original bat chat has like 50 millimeters on the whole turret and 80 ish at the front, but yeah. The thickest armor is behind the turret ring. The cheeks are 50 ish, 60 ish, but it's a small sliver. And the rest of this vehicle is 35, 30 ish, 25 ish, so. Ugh, no armor. <laughs> it's purely French. Alright, here are the main stats of this tank. It's going to be a special tier 9 French medium tank. Now historically, the Bat Chat was supposed to have a 4-man crew, but in the game, it has only a 3-man crew. So, I don't know which or how many crews this vehicle could hold. But yeah, 3 or 4. It has normal matchmaking, it's a tier 9 vehicle. There will be no cost to this tank, you have to get it specially from Clan Wars or Personal Mission or whatever, so no gold costs. Has 1675 health, which is average for a tier 9 medium tank. Has 500 ho uh, horsepower for a 25 ton tank, so the horsepower per ton ratio is above average slightly, but for a French tank, it's below average, so <laughs> I was looking at the engine power with the horsepower per ton ratio and yeah, I mean 20 horsepower per ton ratio is pretty good, right? But it's pretty good compared to stuff like the E50 or the Centurions and stuff, but for a French tank, it's a little bit lacking. Top speed is 65 kilometers per hour, which is pretty good. Reverse is 20. Hall Traverse is 44 degrees per second, Hall Traverse is 46 degrees per second, slightly above average for both. Terrain resistance is 1.05 for hard, 1.15 for medium, and 2.014 for soft. That's slightly below average, so it counterbalances the slightly above average horsepower per ton ratio, but the horsepower per ton ratio is only slightly above average compared to stuff like Centurions and E50. So this tank is a little bit slower than your average French medium tanks. Whoops. Fuel range is 380 meters. Eh, that's below average by 20, I believe. Radio range is 570. So it's all right, but prefer to have 700 or so. Hull armor is 30 at the front. 25 at the sides, and 20 at the rear. Same goes for the turret. So, no armor. The gun is an autoloading 90mm. Has about 36 rounds or so, but that's only a guess from me. They did not give a specific ammo count for this vehicle. However, you can take a look at the bat chat with a 90mm. That thing can only hold 36 rounds. So, I'm guessing 
this tank could hold only 36 rounds or so unless they artificially buff it or inflate it but yeah it has a six round clip so basically six clips of the shells fires ap i mistype <laughs> mistype oh no it's not apcr my bad ap apcr is such a noob technical mistakes <laughs> so it fires ap apcr high explosive has only 200 millimeters of penetration for normal ap <sighs> APCR is 250, which is not that bad, but 200 millimeters of penetration for a tier 9 medium tank. Yeah, that's not that good. Alpha is 240. Yeah. Where the fire is 10.26 rounds per minute, which is not that bad. DPM is average, 2,462. So, reloads every 23, 24 seconds or so. Accuracy is 0.38. Aim time is 3 seconds. They did not give the gun depression and elevation, but based on the 90mm on the bat chat, it has 6 degrees of gun depression and 11 elevation degrees. So, yeah, 200mm of penetration. Oh, God. So, final thoughts and opinions. Really? For reals? <laughs> nope. Uh-uh. Nah, uh Yeah, strength is good health for a French tank, so above average or average health compared to the normal tier 9 medium tanks, so above average for a French medium tank. DPM is pretty good for an autoloader, so uh, okay. And camouflage rating, I hope, because the small chassis and turret and height, but take a look at the weakness, so mediocre horsepower per time ratio with traverse and terrain resistance so it's a french tank i'm expecting something around like 25 horsepower per ton ratio this thing has only 20 so all right it's almost the same as the amx 1390 which that thing has about 20.1 or something but ugh. so view range sucks radio range sucks armor non-existent and the gun has crappy aim time, accuracy, alpha, and penetration. So I'm guessing limited rounds, about 36 for the 90mm, with poor gun handling angles of 6 degrees depression and 11 degrees of elevation. So basically, mediocre mobility with crappy armor and a mediocre gun. The Lorraine 40T has 25.3 horsepower per ton ratio with better terrain resistance. The Batch at 25T has 28.48 horsepower per ton ratio with better terrain resistance. And 200 millimeters of penetration for a tier 9 medium tank? What the? What the fuck? Alright, so. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> But you could say that, ooh, 2.22 seconds between each shot compared to 2.73 seconds for French autoloaders. That's pretty good, right? Well, the Lorraine 40T and the Bat Chat has 2.22 seconds between each shell on the stock 90mm. That's nothing special. <laughs> so, whoops. You could say that the horsepower per ton ratio and the terrain resistance is not that bad for a tier 9 medium tank. That's pretty true. I mean, 20 horsepower per ton ratio and pretty okay-ish. Uh, slightly below average terrain resistance. It's not that bad. But take a look at the T-54. The T-54 has 20.01 horsepower per ton ratio with better terrain resistance and armor. That could go brawling. You cannot even penetrate the T-54 from the front with your 20 millimeter or 20 millimeter <laughs> with your 90 millimeter that fires 200 millimeters of penetration so. all right so your 20 millimeters or 30 millimeters of armor is against the 120 on the t54 no and you could say the t54 e1 has about the same penetration and it's slower so the T-54E1 has 400 alpha or 390 
technically, all right, but small mistake, whatever. But larger alpha with a faster intershell reload. So that means you're not exposed for too long and you can just pump out all the damage and run away. Whereas this vehicle has to sit there with no armor, slowly shooting with 2.2 seconds of intershell reload and zero armor. Yeah, so is it worth it? <laughs> Why bother? Why bother? Not, I mean, think about it this way. The T-55A, when it was originally released for the super testers, I took a look at it. It was not that bad because the horsepower per ton ratio was not as good as the T-54, but it had better terrain resistance and the gun was a little bit more accurate at the cost of DPM compared to the T-54. So the T-55A was pretty okay as a German medium tank. This tank it's basically a tier 9 light tank. That's not even a good tier 9 light tank. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so, yeah. Is it really worth it as a premium tank for personal missions? No. <laughs> Is it worth it to get for Clan Wars? No. <laughs> Is it special? Not really. It doesn't, it doesn't even have the space side armor or some parts of the space side parts on the bat chat. So you can take a look with the bat chat. It has some space armor to troll people with. So as you can see, this part and this part might throw off high explosive anti tank shots. Whereas this vehicle has no space armor. So. Why even bother? So super disappointing of a vehicle and only 200 millimeters of penetration with crappy accuracy and aim time. <laughs> Ow, the brain hurts. Please stop it. Oh, oh. So it's not really worth it. But finally, if you're annoyed that the bat chat doesn't have the HD skin or remodel, I have a few skin mods for you in the description below, so you can check those out if you already have the bad chat at tier 10. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this elite video. <laughs> it was rough. Looking at this vehicle was pretty rough. 200 millimeters of penetration. Come on, only 240 alpha. Come on. All right, no more looking at this vehicle, but thank you guys for watching this vehicle. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I, I'm super tired, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>